Hey everyone, my name is Myrna Jewell. I'm from the Glenavon Library, and if you haven't already joined me before, this is my Tuesday trivia. This week I'm gonna change it up a little and we're gonna just do an entertainment special. So uh, all my questions are on entertainment this week. Uh, I thought it'd be kind of fun to do something different and I hope you enjoy it. Hope you get some of the questions right. Thank you for joining me and we'll get started. So question one, who is the only actor to receive an Oscar nomination for acting in the Lord of the Rings movie? Was it A, Sir Ian McKellen, B, Orlando Bloom, C, Aliyah Wood, or D, Kate Blanchett? Question two, which 1964 blockbuster musical did Julie Andrews win an Academy Award for Best Actress? Was it A, The Sound of Music, B, Victor Victoria, C, Mary Poppins, or D, Star? Question three. The stage play Everybody Comes to Rick's was adapted for the screen to become what 1942 Best Picture winner? Was it A, Arabian Nights, B, The Big Shot, C, Casablanca, or D, Somewhere I'll Find You? Question four. In what 1979 James Bond movie does the famous spy go into outer space? Is it A, Moonraker, B, From Russia With Love, C, for your eyes only, or D, live and let die. Question five. What Canadian actor was born in Montreal in 1931, trained as a Shakespearean actor, and played a number of roles in Canadian theater, be theater before becoming a well-known captain? And Martin, you should know this one. Was it A, Donald Sutherland, B. William Shatner, C. Dan Aykroyd, or D. Eugene Levy. Now we're going to go on to Canadian music. Number six. In 1974, Terry Jacks released a song which was an English language adaptation of the French song Le Moribond, which provided a source of inspiration for many other bands like Nirvana and Kurt Cobain. What was the name of the song? Well, Nirvana was Kurt Cobain, but anyway. <laughs> A, if you go away. B, I'm so lonely here today. C, seasons in the sun. Or D, I'm gonna love you too. Question seven. In 1998, one week reached number one for approximately one week and quickly became a karaoke singer's karaoke singer's nightmare due to the ridiculous speed of some of the lyrics what can canadian band brought us one week and i know someone who's probably done this one in karaoke is it a bare naked ladies b blue rodeo C, The Guess Who, or D, Rough Trade? Question eight. What is the name of the Canadian equivalent to the Grammy Awards? Is it A, World Music Awards, B, The Granny Awards, C, The Juno Awards, or D, The Golden Globes? Question nine. Here are some lyrics. Name this Brian Adams song. Oh, thinking about all your younger years, there was only you and me. We were young and wild and free. Was it A, please forgive me, B, all for love, C, heaven, or D, straight from the heart? Hmm. Question 10, still with the Brian Adams. What connects him to Queen Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. Was it A, they're related, B, he photographed her, C, he was born on her coronation day, or D, 
he has one of her corgis. Hmm. So how do you think he got on? Let's get down to the answers and uh, we'll go back to number one. Uh, number one, who was the only actor to receive an Oscar nomination for acting in Lord of the Rings movie? And that was A, Sir Ian. Sir Ian McKellen was the only person to receive an Oscar nomination for the Lord of the Rings movie. Question two, which 1964 blockbuster did Julie Andrews win an Academy Award for Best Actress? And that was C, Mary Poppins. Question three, the stage play Everybody Comes to Rick's was an adaptation for the screen to become what 1942 Best Picture winner? And that would be C, Casablanca. Play it again. Sam. Number four. In what 1979 James Bond movie does the famous spy go to outer space? And that was a moon rake. Moon raker. I don't know if that was too easy or whether you might have got put off because it was too easy. Question five. What Canadian actor was born in Montreal in 1931, trained to be a Shakespearean actor? and did a number of roles in Canadian theatre before becoming a well-known captain. Not of a ship, though, but of a spaceship. And that was B. William Shatner. Shatner. Sorry. Question six. In 1974, Terry Jacks released this song, an adaptation to the French song Le Morbond, which provided the source of information for many other bands like Nirvana. The song was C, Seasons in the Sun. I love that song. Question seven, in 1998, one week, reached number one for approximately one week, quickly became a karaoke singer's nightmare due to re the, the ridiculous speed of some lyrics and so what band was it? And it was A, The Bare Naked Ladies. Question eight, what is the name of the Canadian equivalent of the Grammy Awards? And that is C, the Juno Awards. Number nine, the lyrics to the Brian Adams song was C, Heaven. And number 10, what connects Brian Adams with the Queen? And that would be B, She Gave Him Permission. To photograph her. Amazing. <laughs> so how did you get on? I hope you enjoyed this week's trivia. I hope you didn't mind that I ch changed it up a little bit just to make things ch a little different. Um, next week we'll go back to the normal uh, ways but this time I thought it would just be fun to do something different. So I hope you have a good day, have a good week, uh, enjoy the sun and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye for now.